This video will talk about the distributive property. The distributive looks like this, A times a quantity, like B plus C. You've got an addition or subtraction and a quantity and a number outside being multiplied. When you distribute it, you want to distribute that A to everything inside the parentheses. So you're going to take the A times the B and then plus the A times the C. So let's try. We want to take 5 times x and get 5x. And then we want to take 5 times negative 9 and have plus 5 times negative 9. That's the way to think about it. So in that case, you get 5x. And then 5 times negative 9 is a negative 45. So you have 5x minus 45. Try again. Three, negative 3 times x is negative 3x plus negative 3 times 8. That's the way to think about it. So negative 3x is just negative 3x. But when we do the order of operations, we have plus a negative 24 or negative 3x minus 24. Okay, let me show you. I keep saying, well, that's the way you think about it. So you can also think about this as negative 3x, but then you can think of this as just multiply negative 3 times 8, and that will give you negative 24. Okay, so that's another way to look at it. So let's try this next one then. Negative 2, we're thinking negative 2 times 4x plus negative 2 times negative 1. And if we would do the work, then negative 2 times 4x would be negative 8 times x. And negative 2 times negative 1, remember a negative times a negative is a positive, so it would be 2, and we would be done at that point. Again, you can think of it as negative 2. You could just go ahead and do the work. Negative 2 times 4x is 8x, negative. And negative 2 times negative 1 would be a positive 2. So you can distribute and do, the, do these steps in your head if you want. All right, one more example. Negative times negative 6x. So it's a negative times negative 6x. I'm going to write it all out here. Plus a negative times 7y plus a negative times negative 4. A negative times a negative then becomes a positive 6x and then plus a negative times a positive would be negative 7y and then plus a negative times a negative here, negative times negative 4 would be a positive 4. So rewriting it would be 6x minus 7y plus 4. Actually, either one of these is okay. But this is the general way that you're going to see it written. Again, you could have said negative 6x times negative 1 would be positive 6x. Negative times a positive 7y would be minus 7y. And negative times a negative 4 would be a positive 4. Either way.